You know, when your cell phone or tablet is running low on juice, those public chargers really come in handy. But could they allow hackers access to the phone? Here's Brandon Lewis to verify. Verify viewer Paula says she saw posts like these circulating online about a juice jacking scam. This is when hackers use USB ports at public charging stations to transfer malware to your devices. Since USB cords can be used to both charge your device and transfer data, hackers exploit this so the public USB chargers upload malware to your device while it's charging. Paula wants to know if that can really happen. So let's verify. Our sources are the Federal Bureau of Investigation, cell phone makers Apple and Samsung, and cybersecurity expert Dean Chester. The social media posts make juice tracking seem like something that can happen without warning, but tech experts say it's not quite that simple. Many devices display a warning or ask if you want to trust this device when you plug into something that can access your data. So you should think twice about using that charger. But if you accidentally trust the wrong device or have a device without the latest security updates, then your information could be at risk. Chester wrote in a cybersecurity blog for AT&T that juice jacking may not be the most widespread type of malware injection, but it is better to avoid any possibility of it nevertheless, which means not charging with a USB cord, only a power outlet. So yes, hackers can use public USB charging stations to install malware and steal data from electronic devices, although it's not very common and most devices have some built-in defenses. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.